Hello everyone and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie and the Shiba Shiba Day. Now today we will be tackling the snow level of the game folks, Freeze Easy Peak. Quite possibly one of my favorite levels in the entire game because let's face it, Freeze Easy Peak is uh, it's pretty cool. No pun intended of course because that level, well it's basically, this is the level I usually instantly think of when I think of Banjo Kazooie 1. Why? Because of the music. The music is one of... I'm gonna I'm gonna argue and say it's probably the best song in the entire game and it is so so up there. It is up the top, son. I mean honestly I don't I love Freeze Easy Peak. And as you remember last time we left off we were up there. So this time as you can probably tell, we're gonna ignore that statue still. We'll don't worry, we'll deal with that later on. But for now we're just gonna jump up this year passageway instead. And it should be a no door block in the entrance. There it is. Now Trust me, you guys are going to be prepared. So we need 260 notes to get through this. We got way more than enough. If you get through the game 100%, if you 100 each of the levels, you pretty much never have any... Well, obviously you won't have any issues. You're 100%ing the levels. Alright, so what we're going to want to do first is go through here. Why? Because it's a secret passage. And I actually can't remember... Ah, I remember what's through here. This is basically how we're going to gain access to uh, something. There's going to be something awesome. Just push this here fancy dancy switch. Oh, what's that? A, gi a jumpy pad thingy? Now, as you can probably be quite obviously tell, you're meant to actually use the jumpy pad thingy to jump into the giant golden va vase, vase. This thingy in the center here because... This is how you get that jiggy that we opened up earlier on. Wee! Ah. Don't you just love getting easy jiggies like that? I know I do. Alright, so that's... That's that. Now, that, the rest of that room is basically the entrance to a... The, uh, entrance to a level we'll be tackling after Freeze Easy Peak. So, uh, you can basically ignore the entire floor there. I know why you talk all the time. You're an idiot. But Freeze Easy Peak now is the first world where we will actually enter and we want to actually be able to get 100% on the first go. We're gonna need to actually backtrack onto it, folks! Oh, it's so sad and actually it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't mind backtracking. And plus this is a game where it's everything's level based, so it's extremely easy to backtrack. I mean, go down a couple of floors, boom, Bob's your uncle. Anyway, go through... This is the new room, it's got quite a few passageways and you're going to see this room quite a bit because this is where we're going to be spending the majority of the next half of the game, give or take. Well, not really the the majority of them. You know what I mean, you, we'll be spending quite a bit of time in here, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, move across here, as you can tell everything's going all snowy and of course we get a Christmas sized version of Grunty's Lair which sounds surprisingly ominous. But welcome folks to the next level, Freeze Easy Peak, this is going to be fun. This level is going to be pretty long as well, from what I remember. So welcome, folks, to Freeze Easy Peak. The, one of the greatest levels in this game, and we start off with an amazing view of a fantastic snowman. Only on a Nintendo Ultra 64 is this possible, folks. For those of you who don't know, the Ultra 64 is the actual beta name for the Nintendo 64. There was what the 64 was known as before it became, well, a com consumer thingy. You know, back in the E3, you know, when it was first announced, it's kind of like how Nintendo's consoles always tend to have their own little nickname. Apart from the Wii U, the Wii U is the only one I think of that didn't have its own little project nickname. Anyway, let's go in here and talk to these guys, see what's up. Ah, so Boggy, he's gonna be a staple of the series, and as you can tell, the is Boggy is one of the worst fathers I have ever heard of because he just runs off. He do, he just doesn't care about the kids. Boggy should die. Anyway, we're basically gonna have to do Boggy's job for him because we're gonna need to start collecting quests, collecting quests, collecting presents that are hidden throughout the entire land. It's very easy to get hold of them though. Anyway, go down here. Hey, who's this? Who's this jolly good spell? This, folks, is Boggy. Now, as you can tell, he's got a stomachache, and if you jump on him or try anything to try and, you know, like coincidentally, you'd probably just think to do this to him, but it won't do anything, as you can tell. There is a way to actually do that, and that's the very first thing we're gonna probably. Actually, no, it's not the first thing, it's one of the first things we're gonna do in this world because. 
Let's face it, he's in the way, and we don't like it when people get in the way. Now for this world, folks, I'll, I normally don't like using Kazooie too much because the noise aggravates the living hell out of me. Um, I'm going to tell you guys one thing. I'm going to be using Kazooie a lot because this is a nice level, therefore ice physics come into play. So, like, I just let go of the control stick. Look how long it takes to slow down. Anyway, as you can probably tell by here, this is something we can't do anything with yet. Oh, can we? Yes, we can. All right, so ground pound it, and then we meet the Twinklies. You, you, these guys are actually in Banjo Tooie as well. If you in one of the missions, but this is basically a um, protection mission. Curses, a protection mis mission. So basically, every time you see these little things, uh, you're gonna have to f battle with the controls because they are kind of tricky to hit. You can only really hurt them with the jump peck attack, you know, the rat attack. Tat. So, um, yeah, just be careful. This isn't really too difficult to give you more than enough time to do this. I mean, just boom. See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Although they'll, they, they will eat some of them. That's just, um, that's just granted. But as long as you keep packing all the green guys that pop up, you should be fine. Just five more left. You should be sorted. Nee, nee, nee. Four. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Aha! Aha! Three, two, one. There we go. We're sorted. We are done. Done like dinner, my friends. Done like dinner. Oh, not. Okay, fine. One left. We should be safe. We should be safe. Curse you! Curse you, video game! Why aren't you jumping? Come on, this is easy. This is, this is very easy. Why are you not doing your peck attack? God damn it, Banjo Kazooie! <laughs> this is easy. I shouldn't be having issues with this. Oh, curses. <sighs> I've, never, I've never lost that before. And we are back, folks, and we have done. We have done. We are done. So, thanks to doing that, we've unlocked a little button in the back. Now, that button will um, do something very awesome with the, involved in the Christmas tree, which, um, believe it or not, we're actually going to go inside the Christmas tree in a second. By the way, this thing here is an enemy. You're going to have... You're not going to have too much issues. They're pathetically easy. I mean, just do your rolling thing, and they go down. No problem. But seriously, this level... This was, um... I think this was around the... I think this was the first time I first level of Banjo because we really saw when I was a kid, and this could possibly be why I think this is a favorite level in the game. But oh, just even as a kid, this used to blow me away. The stage did. Anyway, just gonna want to push this button with three eggs. Why three? I don't know. It always seems to be three. And yay! Be a star and find your reward. Now that's a little hint to what you gotta do next. So basically, what you now need to do is find a flight. Panel. There's one right across here, so don't worry, it's quite easy to get hold of. And uh, you're gonna want to go through the little star on the top of the tree three times. Now, what do you get if you go through the star on the top of the tree three times? Well, obviously, you get a jiggy. Come on, I don't even need to really spoil I don't even need to make it seem like it's different. You know, like you get something new. It's obvious you get a jiggy for doing this. Anyway, just uh, one last turn through. Yeah, there we go. And there we go, there's the next Jiggy for the taking. Now, as you can probably don't know or do know, if you, you can probably tell, we're meant to go inside the tree, so... Curse you... Clipping... Get... Oh, fine. How did I not get damaged? Ah, no matter, let's just go up, climb a tree. Oh, Mumbo Token. Don't mind if I do. Yoink. I like getting Mumbo Tokens. They're so, they're so nice to have. Anyway, up we go. Oh, it's one of the kids' presents. We might as well grab that while we're here. Ah, one. Just gotta get two more of these things. Yeah, I'll give I'll give you someone sad. Oh, I will. Anyway, get. Be sure to keep look out at every every inch and corner of this tree, though, because obviously there's notes everywhere. I mean, there's so many notes. Mozart would be having a field day, son. Because yeah, Mozart is really one to be up. Up there with these notes. I mean, he loves he love he loves striking chords with the notes. See what I did there? I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not funny. Anyway, <laughs> um, why am I collect still collecting those? I got the maximum amount. I think you can get more than the max, more than 50 feathers in the sequel if you. Actually, yeah. Now I remember, you do get more than 50 in the sequel if you get a certain chord. Anyway, 
Jiggy Get. The first one of this world, folks. It took quite a bit of time, actually, so... Let's just hope we can get things speeding along, because I like... The way I'm doing, trying to do this is I'm trying to keep one... Keep one world per part, but it's at this point now where I might actually have to split the parts up. Especially if I ever... Actually, I'm probably going to stick with half-hour parts of this one, because obviously... 15 minutes isn't isn't exactly long enough for this game if I'm trying to do it my way. Anyway, Bottles here and he's going to teach us some new aerial move, the break, the Beak Bomb Dive. Now this move is amazing because you push the B button and you literally become a missile. You just go on and yeah, on. <laughs> what the hell kind of sound effect is that? And um, basically... You can do damage to enemies, and you can hit targets, and this is a very, very useful move to have because you need it to get certain jiggies. Who would have thunk? Hidden mumbo token behind there anyway. So, if you want to jump down there, be sure to. Now, those snowmen, don't worry about them too much right now. They are annoying, but we'll deal with them in a, in a bit. We'll have to deal with them to get everything anyway. So, first thing we're going to do, though, is that we're going to fly up here. See this little... Uh, Things here. Hit them using Kazooie's Beak by Bomb Bango Bingo Bango Dongo attack. Jumbo! Okay, well, d d d you might want to get a bit of a running start though so you can aim yourself quite easily because it's it can be tricky to aim yourself with this move. Yes, there we go. And for that, we got another Jiggy on the floor. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop flying because Jesus Christ, I'm gonna lose all my feathers. All my feathers, man! I can't live without my feathers. Oh, and I'm gonna kill this guy first. See, notice how these guys have a. Uh... Thank you, game. Thank you. But as I was, get out of those. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the way. No, 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 no. Alright, as I was saying, notice how those guys have uh, crosses on their head. Very finicky to hit, but uh, that's how you kill those snowmen. And unfortunately, you need to kill them because they are hiding goodies. Oh, yay. Goodies. And... Oi, do you mind, good sir? I'm walking... Well, I'm kind of jogging. Ugh. Stop throwing snowballs at me! Anyway, across here, a couple of um, notes. Very... I, I really can't wait to get to Tui just because it's... I'm not going to have so much issue with collecting notes in Tui. Trust me on that. I know that for a fact. Why? Because the notes aren't as important in Tui as they are in this one. Because in this one, obviously, you need the notes to get all the note doors. And, um, obviously, in Tui, they use to get moves. But it's still... They come in packs of five, so it's kind of easier to get all the notes in a level. Anyway... There's another Jiggy for us, and as you can tell in the distance, well, you probably couldn't tell because the draw distance is all over the sorting place right now. There's another Prezi! Yay! Okay, present number two. So we got one more present to grab, but uh, let's head on up here next. I'm not... I'm normally used... When I usually play this, I have a little pattern of what Jiggies go for, but I'm really... Oh, where'd he come from? Ow! I'm, for this time, I'm actually... I haven't got that much of a pattern thought out. I'm just sort of going through the level at random. I know where most of the Jiggies are and stuff, so don't worry. Actually, I know where pretty much everything is in this, this game, so <laughs> I don't have to worry too much. The only part I'm really going to worry is uh, Click Clock Woods, because that level does my head in. And you might not be able to notice, but on this scarf that we're walking up, yes, this is a scarf, on the yellow bits, it's got uh, notes which are very clearly visible, and on the red bits, which are very hard to see, even on my TV, they're hard to see, there's feathers you can pick up as well, so just stick in the middle to collect everything on your way up. Although I don't think you'll need them, the feathers are going to be useful to pick up, because obviously, the feathers are yuck, and uh, we're going to need them to fly a lot. Anyway, around here we go, and... Uh, Basically, up by here, believe it or not, is the key to um, fixing our friend Gobby, I think his name is, I forgot his name. Boggy, 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 Boggy the Squirrel. No, 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 no don't fall down! Uh, I'll meet you guys up there again. Alright, and I'm back, folks. So as I was about to say, that see that sled there? Don't jump on it, because that will activate the Boggy sequence, and we don't want to go to uh, Boggy just yet. Why? We're going to want to do a bit of platforming, because, you know, this is a collect-a-thon platformer. Who'd have thought platforming is part of the thing? And if you go into this guy's uh, pipe here... A jiggy is ours, yes, and it's a fine camera angle. So, yeah, don't forget about that. That's quite an easy jiggy and miss, because, obviously, it's 
kind of out hidden. Anyway, there's a third. Obviously, that can you guys count? There's a third thingy, my jigger, which is gonna be useful to have now. Are we gonna? Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna fly up to the top first of this here thingy because, on top of the top hat, if I remember correctly, obviously there's notes, and there is notes. Hold on, us. Hold on, a mo. I remember that being a Jinjo. Wait, what am I thinking of then? If it's not Jinjo, oh, we need to pop up here anyway to get the thingy, Majiga. Will you? Do you mind, good sir? Thank you. I'm gonna seriously, man. Seriously. Alright, be sure to use Kasui by here because walking off the edge is very easy, especially with a finicky N64 controller. Because, um, for those of you who never owned an N64, you should, I should probably explain to you that, um, the N64 analog stick was never, wasn't the best designed analog stick in the world. It suffers from use. Basically, if you, after about 10 or so years, it becomes extremely imprecise as time goes on, so, to be honest, I'm very surprised this thing even functions. I mean, I'm, like right now, I'm rotating the analog stick pretty, pretty thingy, and as Banjo is sort of doing his uh, thingy here, so it, it can be quite tricky to use an old analog stick like I'm doing, because this is the first analog stick I had my N64 back when the console first came out, son. And I'm trying to find a good position here because there's, uh, there's a, there's a platform somewhere around where with a Jinjo hidden on. I want to see if I can jump down to it because. It's an awkward platform to get to, and I can't quite see. No, 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 stop moving. Oh, I can't see. Ah, there it is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, perfect. What a jump. Yes. What a jump. So, yeah, be careful trying to get that ginger there, because he is very tricky. And how did I miss this? Yoink. Anyway, now I think we're pretty much done with the snowman, so let's move on to the sled and uh, catch up with our pal, pal Boggy. Whee! Yeah. No, don't practice. Go to your kids. Go to your kids. Go. To Fine. Go and practice then. See if I care. Speaking of which, you're gonna. There's actually a game later on involving. Ah, uh, that's. Basically, we're gonna be racing him later on. Oh, the joys! Oh, bet you guys can't wait for that. I can't. I love that mini game. Anyways, go in here and uh, give our kiddies their prize. So, there's one. Yep. Ah. Here's yours. And finally, here is yours. Now, these kids actually make an appearance in Banjo Tui as well with their mother, which is awesome, actually. Although, she's nowhere to be found in this game, so I have no idea where she is here. Anyway, let's grab this Jiggy. We're done here. Uh -huh. Alright, five Jiggies out of a number of them. So let's get moving. And, uh, I think, I think it's time to do some snowman clear out. I would put a little audio effect on my voice there to make it all echoey and stuff, but... Actually, I might... I'll see. I'll see if I can. Because that, that'd be fun to do. Anyway, uh, just gonna run over here. I'm gonna try and take out the snowman because these snowmen are really, really annoying. I mean, for one thing, they keep throwing those at me. And trust me, snowballs are not a pleasant thing to be hit in the face with. I mean, it's fun as hell when you're throwing them, but... Gotcha! There's one. And... Two! Yes! And there's the Grunty Switch as well, I'll push that in a sec once I'm done with this sword here. Yeah, you're in my sights, friend. Aha! There's a Mumbo Token, and I believe... Wait, hold on. I'm... No, there's a couple more, there's one up here. I thought there was one on that platform, I, I think I was wrong with that. Oh well. Boing! <laughs> yeah, final one to take care of. Oi! What's up, bruv? Banter Kazooie in the house. Ouch. Uh, okay, he got me. He got me. That was fair game, game. But the next one won't be. Jesus, cut me close. No, 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 fly! Oh, this guy's gonna be a pain. Come on, turn around, turn around. Yeah! And our reward is. Oh, there, 
something does appear on top of that. Okay, so our reward is both a Jiggy and a Thingy Wot it. See, I knew there was something up the top of this, and I hope to God I have enough feathers to reach five. Okay, I've just about enough feathers to reach the top of this thing, so... Give me my fantastic Jiggy. Mm-mm-mm. Six out of ten. All right. All right, then. So now we got uh, a couple of places left to go. Believe it or not, there are still a couple of places left. Oh, did I go down here? Oh, no. That's just another flight pad. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to go on these platforms down here and uh, pick up the pick up the little bits and bobbles that was dropped by that uh, snowman people because snowmen are the real the real bad guys, don't you know? Uh, plus, it could do with health, I think. Yeah, I could have done with some health. So, as you can tell, that is the entrance. That's quite blatantly the entrance to this world in uh, Grunty's major castle. So, obviously, that's where we, we're heading to when we leave this level. Because that's... Actually, we won't be able to get that yet, now that I think about it. Actually, oh, will we? No, I'm positive we can't reach that yet. We need to get another power-up to do it, so... Well, that one's gonna be a, that chicky there's gonna be a little bit of time off if I'm remembering correctly. I could be completely wrong. I'll try and get it done. Once, I'll try and get that jiggy as soon as I'm done recording this level. So I'll, I'll you guys will know. Anyway, hey Wallace. Rawr, I'm a bear. Yeah, yeah, bear run in there. So that's basically a clue to run in after him because obviously he has the jiggy and you're gonna want it. Hold on. I, Oh, what am I on about? You can't go in there yet. You need to, um... I'm being a moron yet again. You need to actually transform to get in there. Because obviously... Well, not obviously. Mumbo is in this level, folks. And... A couple of extra lives and goodies back here as well. As you can tell by this pedestal, this is where you're going to end up after the race sequence. So, uh... Yeah. But that's basically... That's probably going to be the last jig, last two jiggies of the level are going to be picked up there. Because... Actually, I don't know. Oh my! Actually, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. First thing is, let's all head over to Mumbo Sat anyway because we need to um, we need to start collecting more stuff because I think we got a fair few notes left to pick up. Actually, have we been up this pathway yet? I don't believe we have. Uh, we have. What am I on about? I don't believe we have. Of course we did. We've gone a snowman for God's sake. Oh, see what this game's doing to me, guys. See what it's doing to me. Anyway, we <laughs> Oh, we're so fun! Anyway, cross here, let's move down here. It's... I believe, um... What am I going to want? Yeah. I was going to say, I believe that we can go into one of the houses, but I'm not sure if that's in this game that you can go in the houses. We'll find out now. I know we can go on top of the houses, and obviously there's notes and stuff in the water, but because the water's cold, we're not going to be able to get to them yet, because obviously Banjo can't handle the cold weather, because... He's a bear, and... Actually, hold on, aren't bears, like, built for cold habitats? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, ginger by you. So we got two more gingers left, there's not many at all. I mean, one of them I know is where one of them is, at least. And the other one's probably around by Mumbo's. So, yeah, if you can figure out... If you can get up there, which is very hard to do, surprisingly... There's a flight path, but you really don't need to because obviously this flight level, the flight thing is all over the entire stage. I mean, there's nothing really to worry about. Anyway, I love the glorious frame rate drops here. Let's go on to pay Mumbo a visit because obviously we got a cup, we got like three more jiggies, and one of them we can't actually get this first time through, like I said when we first enter the level. So, in we go. It should be, um, wait, this should be. Oh, no, 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 there's no wellies in this level. What am I? Th I'm th completely being a moron. You're meant to fly across the Mumbles house there, and the wellies are on the other side. So, I'm just going to cut ahead to when I get there to save you the guys the hassle. You know what, screw it, I'm just going to jump across. Obviously, as you can probably tell, I messed up trying to fly across, so... Anyway, see anything up here? Nope. It's time to enter Mumbles hut and get ourselves the next transformation. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Alright, just... And I, I was right in guessing that the ginger would be in here, so let's just uh, pop up here. I am played the, to be fair, even though I know where most stuff is, I am played this stage, or most of this game really, in about a good year or two. So I really, 
So a lot of things I'll probably forget here now. Anyway, we need 15, we got 19, so we're just fine. It's time to transform, and who was the transformation gonna be this time, folks? Oh my god, it's gonna be a... What? I have never seen that ever happen, ever. How, what, what, why, why did I turn into a... A, a washing machine? What the, the... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that did not just hallucinate that, guys, right? I really did see a washing machine. Uh, anyway, now we're a Walworth. 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 Ro I can't say the word. Walrus. So that means we are now immune to cold waters and we can stay underneath cold water as long as we want. Now, the problem. The, there's no problem with it. Well, actually, there is a problem with it. You can't attack enemies. You you have no special skills. You basically have no build, no choice but to move and jump. That's all you got. But fortunately, this lets us clear out the rest of the level because we don't need any more attacks. Because I think I killed out, I killed every enemy in the entire stage. So yeah, let's just continue moving onwards. Obviously, you're gonna want to look around the lakes first. Things first. So I'm just gonna grab these real quick. And is that my I completely forgot to pick that up. Okay, good thing I picked that up there. <laughs> anyway, just gonna keep a look around. Actually, no, I'll look around for the final note at the end because up here is where we're going next. And um, if you guys know, I mentioned race earlier. I, actually, I mentioned race multiple times. It's time to do race. And hold on, I think those are the last notes anyway. Hold on, one, two. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. All 100 notes, son. Yes. All right, so it's time to uh, do a race. Now these races are pretty tricky, but we need to basically. We need, it's very simple though. Just hop on the sled. Now use the control stick to. Hold on, get on the sled. Move the control stick to move and um, push the A button to jump. That's all you need. Now it's very, 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 very difficult to do this. Is so. Um, just be careful because Boggy is faster than you on downhill slopes. He's faster. Actually, no, you're. He's even more faster than you on uphill slopes. So you really need to just sort of really be precise and just ninja him like so. Curses got me. Die got me. Not for long though. You can jump straight over him, and if you jump, you do gain a little bit extra speed that he doesn't have. So. Use jumping to it. Actually, it's only a certain places you're jumping at better speed, so I don't know what concerns that. Obviously, you want to go through the red flag poles. If you miss a red one, don't go through the blue one. It's an auto auto failure. And um, oh god, oh god, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oi, get back here! Why are you so fast? <sighs> it's very tricky to do. Once it, obviously, once it. It gave me a good few tries to do this, so it's not too difficult, really. Really just need a sort of focus. Try jumping up the hills if you want, because that will kind of help you get speed. Anyway, there we go. We just beat Boggy. Now you beat... You have to... F yeah. You have to race him twice, remember, and the second time you can't do it until you come back with another power-up. So, for now, we're, we've pretty much got done. We're almost done with this world, actually. So, seven... And the last two will be in this cave with that walrus I mentioned the other day, earlier even. So yeah, so yeah, take this, but watch out for a smelly br Smelly? Oh, why I yada? Why I yada? Anyway, thanks to the Jiggy, let's go inside. And um, let's look around. I don't think you... There's also um, a little secret as well in here if you... Let me try and get the thingy. If you go up there... It leads to a Jinjo, which we need to be Banjo to get, so okay, we, we, I'll, I'll basically meet you guys back there. And you probably get to, you get to see one of the Stop and Swap collectibles, which, uh, hold on, do I even have any of these things? Let me just have a quick look. How do I have two eggs? I haven't picked up any eggs in the LP, in fact, uh, huh? Okay, that's most peculiar. I might actually be able to get the ice key then in that case, because that's very strange that the eggs aren't showing that... Uh, anyway, I digress. Let's just keep moving forward. In that case, I'm probably going to have to show off where the eggs actually are, because if that's the case, then it's already marked me registered as having the eggs, because it probably got safe on the actual 
cartridge with the eggs in already on, then... Actually, that's probably the, that's probably the thing, because this this game was... A stop and swap was originally meant to be a bonus thing. Oh yeah, honeycomb here. It was originally meant to be a bonus thing that um, hooked up Banjo-Kazooie to Banjo-Tooie. Which, if you add Banjo-Tooie and Banjo-Kazooie, obviously you turn... You add Banjo-Kazooie, turn the N64 on. You have, make sure you have the items. Then, you pull out the cartridge, swap it over with a Banjo-Tooie cartridge. Quickly. And then you'll get bonus content in Banjo-Tooie. I believe that's the way it was meant to work. And, um, those eggs were the things that gave you the bonus content. So, I, I like the idea of it. It's just, it is a shame it didn't go through. Fortunately, it did go through in the Xbox Live remake of this game, which um, I'm probably not going to show off in the RP because it's virtually the same, just in HD. But um, basically, it's been put back in the Xbox Live remake of Tui and Kazooie, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You don't get all the best features in the world because the only two meaningful things that would would have got off stop and swap in the first place, which were being replaced by uh, cartridges in the original game that you could just pick up. So, instead of the... Basically, they just made the cartridges redundant in Tui. But I don't know how to explain it. Basically, they did a lot of stuff. This is rare where we're talking about. We're talking about the most mystical company in the face of the Earth that was once... A god! <laughs> Sorry, I tear up a bit there. <laughs> Seriously, though, Rareware used to be amazing. Such a shame they're not, um, they're not really used for anything anymore, like, I know there's a Kinect games, but this face it, Kinect is not a big, it's, oh no. They, even with the new team, and I've, I've seen what they can do with the Kinect games, because I, so I know for a fact the new Kinect, the new Rare team is still nothing to laugh at. They're amazing, they're still amazing company, the problem is, they're, they're making Kinect games and not full retail AAA games like this. I mean, if they made a Banjo 3E, I would buy an Xbox One in a heartbeat. I would. I, In fact, the only reason I'm not buying an Xbox One right now is because there's no guarantee I'll get it and I'm not too fussed. Anyway, there's a Jinjo. Obvi to explain now, you can't get in here unless you have, um, unless you've already been in as the Walrus. Anyway. If you look across there, there's the ice key. Now, see this ice thing here? I was a bit, I was kind of wrong in what I mentioned earlier with, um, might be able to get this, but basically enter in code at the at Trove Cove, snow level, beach level even, you know, the code palace thing I mentioned earlier. Enter in a certain code and this will unlock, allowing you to pick up the ice egg. And it's, it's basically the same as the ice egg, ice key, and it's the same as the eggs. So anyway, with that, that is all we can do right now in this this playthrough of um, Freeze Easy Peak. Shame, but we're done. So let's just have one last look at the beautiful. That's not the best look in the world. Okay, um, just climb somewhere. You know what? Screw it. I don't. We don't need another look at the level. We've seen it. It look. It's beautiful. We get it. Let's just get out of here and um, open up the next picture, actually, because. We might as well get the next level ready to open. And I'm gonna see if I can get that jiggy that from the grunty switch now. I'm not I pretty pretty damn positive I can't get it right away, but I'm gonna try, damn it. Oh I'm gonna try. Like remember this is this, this isn't a blind LP and I know pretty much what everything in the game is, but trust me, I still have the brain fart moments of not remembering stuff. Alright, anyway, out we go. Yeah. Yes, yes, my note score is 100. Alright, let's just uh, see if I can get up here. I think I can, actually. Hang on a moment. Yes, um, I was wrong, I was wrong. I was thinking about a completely different Jiggy. You can get this one up here, but first we're going to want to go across here. See this by here? Oh, wait. Hang on a moment. I might, I might be wrong about my being wrong. Well, if we go up here, there's a mumbo token anyway, so be sure to jump up. Yeah, I was wrong. Alright, so basically, those shoes you saw a minute ago, which I'm going to go run back to right away, because I want to explain these. These shoes are the next power-up we'll probably be getting, folks, and as you can tell, there's a switch. This switch is timed. No matter what, you cannot reach the actual thing this opens up in time without these boots. And what does it open up? Obviously, as you can tell, if I turn around, it's a feather thingy, so you can fly. So... 
and that flying thing is used to get the jiggy. So we can't do that just yet. But with that, I think it's time to finish up, so let's go and... Excuse me, sir! Stop throwing those at me! It's time to, uh, go! And, uh, my throat's killing me. I've been talking non-stop. Probably the most talkative part of the LP yet. Let's go up here into Grunty's here face. Why? Because the next puzzle to open up the last, the world, the next world even, not the last world, is in here. Oh yeah, in we go. Into her big fat gob. And, by the way, as you can probably tell, it's this is a lava location, so, um, don't, don't, don't jump down. I mean... If you look at look at that, if you go into that, you will probably die. Deathful death, a deathful death. What kind of word is that? Anyway, let's open this now. Welcome, folks, ladies, gentlemen, mental gen, to Gobi's Valley. This the obligatory desert level of the game, and we'll be going there next time. A thing I might as well show off for this is because this might throw people off where to go for this one, folks, because. You actually have to backtrack to get to that level. It's really weird, actually. So I'm going to show you where the entrance is, and then I'll call it a part. Ah, uh, I think this went well, actually, this part. It's, uh, I'm quite happy with it. Ooh, boom! Yes, son! You don't mess with Banjo-Kazooie! Oh, what do you want, Grunty? They always make me gasp for air! Oh, you, Grunty, you lazy person, you... Anyway, this is the room we were pre previously in, and as you can tell, right now need to go up here, because up here is the entrance to Gobi's Valley! How do you get across? By the way, don't jump in that sand, that sand will kill you. As you can tell, there's, um... Wait, where is it? Hang on a mo- where- hang on! Hang on a moment. Where's the Wellingtons? Hold on, Mumbo token, ooh! <laughs> almost caught, I almost missed you, didn't I, eh, Mumbo? Well, I got you now. Right, in here. Okay, I believe it is... Not here. Where the hell is the wellies? Found the wellies, folks! They are inside this and more, I just realized. <laughs> Alright, so there they are. So... When we return next time, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate a like or comment to the video. And when we return, we will be tackling Gobi's Valley, the obligatory desert world of the game, where we will be seeing some, uh, well, there will be adult jokes every now and then in there because it's got a couple of jokes I don't think kids will understand in there. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you then. Bye!